Hi, my name is Yannick Moritz and I do technical support at Bruder AG. I also do customer training and with this video today we'd like to show you the semi-automatic stroke change on a BSCA 280. When you change the tool, most likely you have to do a stroke change. That means you have to change the distance the RAM will move from the TDC to the BDC. Each machine has its own table showing the settings which are possible. In this example, we're going to show you how to change the stroke from 13 millimeters to 19 millimeters. The tool data has already been set up beforehand and you can see how to do this in another video. Once the control is set up, you will also need the following tools. First, the Bruder Special Tool to manually turn the machine. You also need a 17mm ratchet spanner and a 36mm spanner. Now you can start the stroke change. The machine will automatically position the 13 millimeter stroke to the bottom dead center and will engage the pin. On the right side of the control, you have a step-by-step -step guide helping you through the procedure. Once you've opened the adjustment shaft guard, you can use the Bruder Special Tool to see if the machine is locked. If not, you would be able to turn the machine manually. Next, you can loosen the outside nut by half a turn. Following this, turn the adjustment shaft 180 degrees to the open position. Afterwards, you can close the adjustment shaft guard, acknowledge the procedure on the control, and start the main drive. Now you can open the adjustment shaft guard and check if the wanted stroke is at the bottom dead center. Using the ratchet spanner, you can turn the adjustment shaft 180 degrees clockwise to the locked position. To acknowledge this step, you have to close the adjustment shaft guard again. Afterwards, the machine will automatically open and close the brake to release any tension in the drive mechanism. Now, the outside ring will be turned with the Bruder Special Tool until both stroke numbers match at the bottom dead center. To tighten the outside nut, use the 36mm spander. Now you can close the adjustment shaft guard because all the settings on the machine are done. On the control, you can manually disengage the pin and check if the engaged stroke matches the programmed value. If so, you can acknowledge this and the procedure will be finished. If not, you can use the input inhibit button to restart the procedure. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, you can always contact our support department.